Well, YouTube, they said the government don't control inflation, blah, 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 you know, whatever. They can try to bullshit people all they want to. But I looked at a toolbox at Menards I bought a year ago, which I'll put the screenshot up in this video, try to. It was $539. Okay. Well... Today's price, due to inflation and everything, is $800. So the same Master Force toolbox that I bought a year ago under Trump was $539 after tax. Now it's $800 before tax. So, guess what? Thank you, Joe Biden, for driving the price of tools up. I mean... Had the guy try to tell me Snap on wasn't raising her prices. Hate to tell them it's economics. Fuel costs goes up, their price goes up, which translates to the consumer, which is the consumer is us. They got to try to recap some of that fuel money they're using on fuel surcharge for hauling these tools, hauling this lumber, hauling this steel. I know, been in trucking my whole life. So I'm. I still go to those seminars at the Mid-America Trucking Show every year, but the last two years they haven't have it because of COVID, of course. But, yeah. So, you can write your local representative and thank them for this bullshit. I was just in the store in Kroger, and apparently there is a lettuce shortage in, I guess, the eastern seaboard here, I guess. So, apparently people's hoarding again or they're just not getting that much in so watch out out there